What's going on everyone? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this really cool color isolation effect. This is going to be the color isolation effect that you guys can do and it's super easy to do and it looks super cool on a music video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the color inspector tab here. So it's next to the video tab and the speaker tab here or the audio tab. So once you guys are in this tab here, you're going to go into where it says no corrections. I'm going to click this down arrow and I'm going to click where it says color board. So click this down arrow and then you're going to go down to where it says masks. You're going to go on to add a color mask. And now you're going to have this little eyedropper tool. This eyedropper tool will allow you to select a color that you want to mask out from everything else or vice versa if you want to subtract, which is what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. I want to select the yellow in his hoodie, but we'll be, when we select it, we're probably going to be selecting other yellows in the video because we're, there's, it's not the only yellow in this video, of course. There's also warmer tones, his face probably. So what we're going to go is we're going to go back to the beginning. We're going to click and drag. I'm going to click and drag around here. And you can see how much yellow is being selected. Now, uh, when you click and drag outwards, it's going to select more. Okay, now we only want to select as much as we can without selecting his face. So right here. Now you can see that we're not really selecting the top bit of his hoodie. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold down shift and then a little plus icon is going to appear next to the eyedropper tool. What this will do is this will add to your selection that you've already selected. So if you click and drag, you're going to select a little bit more of that yellow. And you can also do that as many times as you wish to perfect this. So once he looks to the left here before we start uh, you know adding more to the selection what we're going to do is we're going to go into the saturation tab we're going to go to outside and then we're going to bring the master all the way down so we can actually see what we're selecting so this side is pretty much perfect but if we go back to his right side eh, it's it's actually pretty good but we can select a little bit more so we're going to hold down shift and i'm going to click and drag and you can see that we're also selecting other yellows in the uh, selection, but that's totally fine because we're only going to mask out this part here in a little bit. So now if I go back and I push play, this is what we got so far and it looks fantastic by the way. So we don't have to do any crazy keyframing or any of that stuff. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to go to the beginning. You can see a little bit is being selected in his face. So to fix that, hold down the option. So we're going to click back in the color mask, Hold down option and you're not going to, sometimes you'll have like a minus symbol next to the eyedropper tool. Sometimes you won't. I'm not too sure why, but hold down the option tab and click and drag outwards to, there you go. Now you can see it. So you can click and drag outwards again so that we don't select his, his, uh, his skin tone. So something like that, maybe over here, but we don't want to select too much where we're starting to deselect his, uh, his hoodie. So I think around there is perfect in my opinion. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the down arrow again where we added our color mask. But in this step, we're going to actually add the shape mask. So click on that and now a circle is going to appear. What this will do is this will mask anything that's inside the inner circle. So you can see how we're starting to select everything else, right? So we're going to adjust this inner circle so that what we want to have in inside here is what we want to show, all right? The only color we want is going to be in the inner circle. This is just the feather, okay? We're just going to bring this down, something like this. So once you're at this spot, what you want to do is you want to go into the shape mask one here in the mask. You're going to click this little plus icon to add a keyframe, okay? So now we're going to drag this time head all the way to a couple of seconds. You don't have to do this frame by frame. You can just do something like this. Uh, and then from here, what you want to do is you want to move this back in place and then start moving this down depending on the video, the camera movements and all of that stuff. You just want the hoodie to fit just like this. So as you can see, you might have to start moving this. So up here and you're going to have to start moving the inner circle uh, inwards to decrease the size because the camera is panning out. So we're going to increase this or decrease it. And then now we're going to keep moving our time head like so okay and we're also going to be decreasing it at the same time this allows us to obviously keep the same size you can see how it's starting to keyframe it which is really cool we're gonna go a couple of seconds in as well we're going to reposition this and you just want to keep doing that until 
until the end of the video, which should be a couple of frames, I, I suppose, I hope. So now if I go back and I skim through the video, you're gonna see how the keyframing is working with the shape mask. We're only adjusting, right here we might have to adjust this. We're only adjusting where his movement happens, but we wanna stay within that inner circle so that it only, only the yellow is being shown in his hoodie. So now if we go back and I push play, this is what it's gonna look like and it looks super cool and it's very easy to do. You can do this in a music video. You can do this with whatever, a car. It's really cool. You can also do this with eye color as well, which is not pretty neat. So this is a before. Okay, this is the, the raw video here, the raw music video without any adjustments. This is with the adjustments made. So you can see how you can draw so much more attention to your subject by simply doing this really cool, simple trick uh, for your music videos. So if you guys found this video helpful, leave a like, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications so you guys don't miss out on videos just like this. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.